Uh, hello, and welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. Today, I'll be going over this week's advanced knowledge problem of the week. So for the full problem and the solution transcript, you can feel free to check out the description of this video on our YouTube channel. OK, so this week's advanced knowledge problem of the week, um, I really, really like it, like all my advanced knowledge problems of the week. Um, we are going to be creating the first three Legendre polynomials um, using the Gram-Schmidt process. And um, if you were with us a few weeks ago, I did confess to really liking orthogonal polynomials. I also said that I was a physicist and I like broadcast notation. There's a lot of good stuff here. And so it's going to be a cool problem of the week. Um, there are a lot of uh, quote unquote ingredients here to work with. Um, but uh, they all kind of come together in a very cool way. And it's a very step by step process. So uh, we're going to go over this really quickly. Um, so the steps that we're going to take, and we are going to take these three times for each Legendre polynomial, is to first look at psi of j, where j is 0, 1, or 2. Uh, in this case, of x, and we're going to look at them in order. So we're going to start by looking at psi 0 of x. OK, so um, as I have written up here, um, we are going to, that is going to be equal to u sub 0 of x for psi 0 of x. And then this sum isn't going to be anything for um, 0, because um, it's just not going to be there. So it's going to be 0. So very simply, this is going to be equal to u sub 0 of x. Uh, u sub 0 of x, we see u sub n of x is x to the power of n. Plug in 0, you get 1. Uh, so it's a very simple first step. Next is always, for this kind of process, to look at this next phi sub j of x. And we are looking at phi sub 0 of x because we have psi sub 0 of x. And all we need to do is take psi 0 divided by the norm of psi 0. Uh, and I have given you what um, a norm is equal to. So I am going to plug that in, but I'm going to just speed through the integration process. Uh, so by plugging everything that you need to get in, and um, since psi 0 is 1, we take the norm of 1. Uh, our waiting function is also 1, so this is a very um, uh, gentle start to orthogonal polynomials derived with um, the Gram-Schmidt process. Um, uh, it can be harder because the waiting function is different for different polynomials. Um, but yeah, I plug that in. I get 1 over square root of 2 for phi of 0, and very simply, uh, the first p is 0 of x for the Legendre, the 0 at first polynomial for the Legendre is just 2 divided by uh, 2n plus 1 and take the square root of that, multiply by phi. Um, so n in this case is 0, as we have um, said earlier. So um, square root of 2 divided by 1 multiplied by 1 divided by square root of 2. For this first polynomial, we're just going to get p 0 x. Square root of 2 multiplied by 1 divided by the square root of 2, we're going to get 1 for this one. Uh, so that's the very first step. I'm going to fill that in right here. So you can just keep that in mind. Uh, so maybe you can tell by looking at the definition of psi, but we will need this uh, phi of 0 when moving on to the next step and finding psi of 1. So uh, as I did before, I'm going to plug in um, what is necessary for psi 1 of x. And what you'll see is that is this. Uh, there is one term from the sum, and we are using uh, psi of 0 in um, this broadcat notation um, denoted up, up there. So I'm going to go ahead and solve this and plug in things that are necessary. OK, so what uh, this turns into is this. When you plug in the notation and uh, psi, uh, phi sub 0 
Um, and then going ahead and solving that will give you the following. The integral is very simple to evaluate. Um, and from here, you'll get a psi 1 of x is equal to x. And the next step, of course, is to find phi 1 of x. Okay, again, same procedure, x divided by the norm of x and plugging everything in. Okay, x divided by square root uh, of this integral. Uh, just going to speed through the integration as I did before. Uh, we get a phi 1 of x is square root of 3 over 2 times x. And we'll write that one down. Uh, next, we use this to find the Legendre polynomial. And so for this one, n is equal to 1, which means p1 x is going to be equal to square root 2, 2 times 1, divided by 2 times 1, plus 1, 1, 2 divided by um, 2 plus 1, well, Square root of um, two thirds, of course. Multiply that by this phi one, and you will just get x. Very x, very simply. I fill that in. I have written everything we basically need, and we move on to the third step: finding the third Legendre polynomial. Okay, so this sum is, is ever so slightly longer, well, by one term, of course, um, than the last one, um, which was one term longer than the one before that. Um, but it's still very easy to evaluate. Um, these polynomials um, for Legendre, or these integrals for the Legendre polynomial derivation, very, very uh, mild and not bad. <laughs> so um, u2 of x is obviously x to the power of 2. And then just evaluating this all out. Uh, you will get this once you plug in, in um, our notation that we wrote before. And this is, these are all very easy integrals, so I'm just going to freeze by them and tell you what that evaluates to. You will get x squared minus 1 third. And so that's psi 2 of x. Next is obviously fine phi 2 of x. Uh, you would do that by evaluating the following, and I am going to go ahead, uh, do the same thing I did before, write it down. And as I do, as I again did before, I'm going to go ahead and evaluate this, and um, then we can find the third Legendre polynomial from that. So
OK, so uh, this is what it evaluates to. Um, find the, Lagrange poly the second Lagrange polynomial by plugging in n is equal to 2 um, and solving this. Um, and what you get is uh, square root of 2 divided by 2 times 2, 4 plus 1, uh, square root of 2 over 5, multiplied by square root of 5 over 2, and then multiplied by 3 halves x minus 1 half. And that will simplify to 3 halves x minus 1 half. And from that process, we get the first three Legendre polynomials, which is very cool. Um, if your professor doesn't give you them, I suppose you could um, generate them like this if you forgot. Um, it would take a while, but um, you could do it like that. Um, so this is one very cool way of deriving these, um, forming them. And we hope you can use that in the future, and we hope you enjoyed this week's Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week. If you want to see more Problems of the Week and Advanced Knowledge Problems of the Week, feel free to click up here. If you want to subscribe to us on our YouTube channel, feel free to click right here. And if you want to visit us on centermath.org, feel free to click right there. And if you're on a mobile device, there should be an I in the top corner over there. Uh, that should give you the same links. Thank you very much for watching.